Timu, I have another exciting fashion and style haul. You guys seem to really like my last video and they actually wanted to partner up with me again. So I said, hey, let's go for it. The people wanna see more Timu, let's do it. So thank you so much to Timu for sponsoring today's video. We've got a raw, real, unfiltered, true, authentic feedback style haul. You guys know how I do. So we've got some big hits and some misses. So a couple quick things about Timo. If you're not familiar with them, they really offer, I would just kind of describe it as everything, <laughs> everything from style, fashion things, jewelry, accessories, household stuff, techie stuff. I always have had the best experience on the app. I just think it's a very user-friendly app. I would recommend downloading it. They're definitely known for really their wide variety of stuff as well as their low, low prices. I'm sure that's probably what you heard the most about them as well as they have really good coupons. And Speaking of coupons, I do have a special discount code for you that I will put on the screen as well as in a pinned comment down below the video. And if you have been curious about ordering from Timu but haven't yet, just know that they do have 90 day returns and free shipping, which is super helpful. And in this video, because I am specifically a style and fashion channel, I like to kind of stay in that lane for the most part. So I do have fashion accessories for you guys today. I have some outfits as well as a number of bags. So let's get into it. I'm excited because in this haul, more so than even my last haul, I feel like we have more wins. I'm gonna start with one of my favorites. Some of these have outfits and some of them don't, but this one might just be my favorite. Let's take a close look at this thing. If you're not new here, you know that I'm obsessed with moto jackets. I have them in almost every color and this looks like a mini moto jacket. Think that it's just darling. On top of the fact that I think it is so cute, it's very nice quality. This is thick, it hooks really nice. It's probably thicker than it even needs to be. An extra pocket right there. I don't know if these zippers work. Oh look, they do. Sometimes I think the gold can be off. I think the gold is fine on this one. I just think it's such a statement piece. I understand that it's definitely not for everybody. I did style this one because like I had said, when I saw it, I just about fell out of my chair and I styled it almost immediately because I love it so much. If you're looking for a size reference here, that's what it looks like on me. Let's do another win before we head into a fail. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of you had told me you like to get bag or purse straps on Timu. And I was like, hey, let's try it. I love anything checkered. I wear checkered stuff all the time. So anytime I see a little bit of an accessory, I like to grab it because like, I know I'm already gonna have baked in style options for it. Well, I feel like this is really nice quality. I feel like the gold is slightly lower quality than the bag that we just saw, but you're really not gonna see it. This is Hopefully you can kind of see that nice and thick. Lots of guitar strap options as well on the site. So definitely check it out if you haven't. Oh, pardon the interruption. I just wanted to welcome you into the channel if you happen to be new here. And if you are not new, then welcome back. My channel is all about helping you be your most confident self through style and fashion. What we like to do here on this channel the most is we like to cook looks. We be in the kitchen cooking looks. For this video today, I definitely have some cooked looks for you as well as some general try on and kind of review style. So if all that sounds good to you and you're looking for affordable outfit ideas from someone who has multiple styles and disorder, then please consider subscribing, but only if you're awesome. I have to give that disclaimer because everybody here is awesome. Otherwise, it might be awkward, you know, like we're all awesome and all that kind of stuff. I always like to warn folks that I'm a little bit goofy. And as always, everything will be listed and linked down below in the description box. I always like to put everything by number. If you're looking for the description box, click the title of the video and then click more, which opens up a box and then you'll have access to all the links. If you do decide to use my links, please know how much I appreciate you as that is a free way for you to support me and my channel. And I can never thank you enough. Let's keep going with the haul. All right, next we're gonna do one that I'm going to tell you to avoid. On top of the fact that this one just doesn't fit, which is part of the problem, I don't know if it's like the drop crotch situation, how it's sort of shaped angled downward. I don't think that the construction of it is really all that great. 
It does have this zipper in the back, and I mean, you can even see the stitching there. It's just really not that great. The material, to me, it, it has almost like a thin faux suede feel to it, I guess. To me, it feels like something that a garment shouldn't be made out of. You pick the wrong fabric at the fabric store or something. I don't know, that's what it sort of feels like to me. And it really has no stretch. I got this in a 2XL, which I would say is typically my normal size for overalls or, or rompers. I typically wear like an XL, but with something like this, I would go up a size to an XXL and then this was tight for me. Take that for what it's worth. I also felt like the color was different than what was on the website, so just note that. I think this one would look okay on me if it was a couple sizes too big. I could probably get away with wearing it, you know what I mean, with like a t-shirt around the house, whatever, but instead, it's really not wearable for me. So this one was definitely a miss. <laughs> Since we had a fail for the last jumpsuit, romper, overall situation, let's go into one. This, I think, is an overall win. It unfortunately does not fit me the way that I want it to. I did the same thing here in that I got a size up in a 2XL. I would need a size larger than that to work. I think the material is similar to linen in that it doesn't really have a lot of stretch. It kind of has a similar feel, but it's thinner. And I think you could argue that maybe it's a little bit see-through. It does have pockets on the front. I think the color is absolutely stunning. Sea foamy green color. I think the length is really good. I'm five foot six. And the construction of this one is overall better than the last one, meaning the seams look good to me. There's not a lot of loose ends or anything like that. It's more just, it doesn't fit me the way that I'd like it to, but I probably could get away with wearing it if maybe I tried a flannel around my waist or something. But overall, I do really like this one and I do recommend this one. Just consider going up a size or two from your normal size. I absolutely adore this bag. Like I said earlier, I love anything checkered and I love the green and white checkered specifically or pacifically as I like to say. We've got a couple pockets here. This feels like overall good quality to me. So look, total three pockets. Type of material that seems like it would be somewhat wipeable. I really like the pools there. Also really like that it is a striped strap and you've got the buckle here as well. I do wish this strap was not silver. Uh, I wish it was white. This is what it looks like on if you wanted a size reference. So I really like this one and I'm definitely going to wear it a ton. We are about halfway through this video, so please give the video a like if you are digging it so far. That really helps out me and my channel, and I can't thank you enough. I have another bag for you that is also a win. This actually has my stuff in it right now. I'm currently using this bag. I do have an outspit it an outfit, an outfit inspo for this one for you guys. If you are a regular on my channel, what we do here the most is we cook looks in the kitchen. Uh, that's what we call it. It's quilted, nylon, I'm sure you can hear that. It sort of gives off hobo bag vibes. This will just go with everything I, and it has gone with everything and I absolutely love it. The zipper is really smooth. Uh, it's silver. I feel like it probably would look better if it was gold, but I'm not gonna complain about that. The inside pocket feels a little bit cheaper to me and the lining feels cheap, but honestly, the outside, I think it looks completely fine. It feels really nice to me. This one is a huge win for me. It will match everything. Yet another pair of overalls. <laughs> Could you tell that I was on a roll? These I will describe similar to the seafoam green ones in that they're pretty good. I have a couple of comments about them. I also love that they're wide leg, a really nice stretch to them. I did the same thing here where I got a 2XL. I still feel like it's too small, so I would need to go up a couple sizes from my normal size on this one. But what I particularly love about this one is the pleating right there. I like that detail. Here, I'm sure you can see how this elastic waist comes together and it really kind of cinches at the waist. And I really like that because you do not always get that with overalls. In fact, if you're curvy like me, you often lose your typical curvy shape in an overall, but this I feel like really enhances 
it. So just something with the balance of cinching at the waist with the wide leg. I actually think it can be very flattering. I would describe it as a soft jean, kind of acid washy a little bit. I would describe my least favorite part about these overalls to be right here. So number one, the buckles and where the buckle goes in feels particularly thin to me. I'm not really sure why. Might not hold up the best over time because you know you're gonna constantly be fidgeting with this and this is where it seems to be the thinnest. You know, these are probably a one season overall, but I think for that season that they would be fabulous. <laughs> This pair of pants here, also interesting. I think these are actually very well constructed. This right here feels like it's very well made and it's thick and very nice. Now I did get these in an extra large, which I would call my true size. I probably should have gotten an XXL. So I'm generally finding the stuff is running a smidge small. I don't know if you can see my hand here, if that's coming across, but they are a little bit see-through. Beware of that. They do have a nice wide leg, but otherwise outside of the fact that I wish this was a little bit of a thicker material, they feel very nicely constructed. I'm a huge fan of colored pants in general, the colored pant movement. It's it's not a movement, but I love colored pants. If you're not new here, you know that. It just fits right in with me. I just need a size bigger. This graffiti bag right here, it's just so my style. I find this quality to be okay. I think the silver chain really does cheapen it in my opinion. However, you can unclip that and you definitely could do a different strap on here, which is what I would recommend. I think the zipper goes decent. It doesn't give you too much trouble. There's a couple pockets in there. The lining I think feels a little bit on the cheaper side. I'm not overly concerned about it, but I do like some of the detail there, even under the handle there. I feel like it's extremely different. You don't see stuff like this all the time. So I just think it could really make an outfit unique. I do like it that it has that part of it, but I do think I'm gonna end up replacing the strap. That's what it looks like for size reference, if that's helpful. I did style this one for you guys. Skirt, edgy style outfit. This one gets like a, you know, like a medium score from me. I basically got it to wear it as a robe because I liked the sleeves were sort of shorter. It does come with a tie. Let's do a quick size reference here. And then I thought it would look actually really cute with these. For reference, I mean, that's what it's looking like on me. It's, it'll cross, but it's, it's it's not, you know, gapingly big, that's for sure. I do really like where the sleeves fall. You definitely could wear this with an outfit. You don't have to wear it as a robe. I love these slippers. They're sort of like a Sherpa-y type of material. They do have hard bottoms that feel really squishy. I wear a size seven and I'm wearing these in a 42 to 43. At that size, I would say they're a comfortably loose fit. Do you ever have wear slippers? They kind of just fit you and then that little lip in the back, you keep stepping on it, that drives me nuts. So I got them probably a size up and then that's how they feel on me. Yeah, I mean, aren't they cute together? I love it. I told you we had some wins. We had some good wins today. During my last Timu video when I was like, hey, what should I be getting from this retailer? Tell me what you guys think. So many of you said this bag or, you know, the other one that is similar to this. This is very nice quality. It feels like fine construction to me that's going to hold up. This is what the zipper is looking like. That seems really good. I'll do a size reference for you. I think this would be really cute for work for obvious reasons. <laughs> And this does come in several colors. I actually saw that one of them comes in sort of like a clear acrylic. I feel like I want to get that one next. <laughs> I really like it. That's going to wrap up this haul here for today. Let me know what you thought of the haul overall. The haul overall. Before you go, let me know which was your favorite item or outfit down below in the comments. If you are interested in outfit videos, definitely subscribe because that is generally what we do here the most. I want to thank Timu once again for sponsoring today's video and a big thing Thank you to you guys for watching and supporting my channel, which allows me to work with brands through partnership. I cannot thank you enough. And if you are still here, thank you so much for watching all the way up until the end. Please leave me a heart emoji or the secret video word of overalls. Don't forget to subscribe if you're awesome and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I've been in the kitchen cooking looks. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!